day everybody, this is Jay Garcia with TDG Innovations. We're here to discuss EXTJS in this uh, screencast number four. The topic of discussion today will be the EXT.each utility class. We're going to go ahead and instantiate an array. This is a uh, externalized uh, firebug window and uh, if you're not familiar with uh, firebug essentially you can pop out the window from the browser and that's what I've done here so to the left is the result uh, window of the console um, and over here is actually the interpreter so I'm gonna go ahead and just instantiate an array nothing special so I'm gonna just gonna say var arr so r equals and then open bracket and I'm gonna say my um, array I'm just gonna put a couple words okay excellent okay now, first thing you'll see over here in the uh, Firebug section to the left is the result. Uh, if we don't get an error message, chances are we're, our syntax is good. So let's go ahead and erase this. And um, we'll do a simple for loop. So a t typical for loop would look like this. So for um, you instantiate some variable, I'll just use i for index. And we're going to say that uh, i is less than uh, array.length. And uh, we're going to increment the i variable reference and we're just going to do console.info uh, array i and uh, that's it now to the left you'll see that we have our four items my array is cool and uh, we essentially have looped through the uh, the array now um, you do get things like your index number here you get um, the possibility of executing a function. So if I wanted to say, um, let's just say I made a function called myfunc, we could pass array um, with the index of i to it. Um, but we have issues with scope. So what if you wanted to execute a function within the scope of another object or something? Um, you would have to you know, create a new delegate every time. Um, so this is where I think the ext, or one of the areas that ext.each shines. So we're going to go ahead and clear the console real quick. Oops, let's close that profiler. Excellent. Okay, so we still have um, our array in memory. So I just spit it out to the console. And uh, we're going to go ahead and use it using an ext.each uh, loop. So ext.each is a very simple command. Um, the array you want to use, so I just called it arr. And uh, we're going to pass an anonymous function. And uh, the three parameters that the function is called are always the same. So it's going to be the array item, the index, and all items. So all items basically is just the entire array. So we're going to go ahead and open the function. And I'm going to close the uh, method call here. And I'm just going to say console.info array item and bingo we have the exact same results um, so this looks the same um, you know one could argue that yes it looks a little bit dirtier um, but now you you have the comfort of knowing that you don't have to remember the index of array item you don't have to uh, you basically get you know the array item get gets past you every every iteration of uh, this function being called also um, you have the option of using the index if you needed to and all items is always passed um, as, as a local function. Now if you wanted to call the object or the, the method within a scope of another object, we'll go ahead and create a, a simple object really quickly. Um, where did my mouse go? There we go. Okay. Oh, it looks like uh, Firebug has that cursor issue. Fire, Firefox 3 still does. That's great. Um, so let's go ahead and create a, a simple object. So I'm just going to say my obj equals and uh, boy this makes it a little tough so uh, let's do property one property one and some proper property and uh, this is what where I think it gets to be really cool so we have our object instantiated and we wanted to run this anonymous function within the scope of this object so it would be really neat if we can just simply go console ah that info and let's just say this dot property one 
and uh, we go over here and we actually pass the scope parameter here so I'll just put my obj and neat so now we know that we've executed this anonymous function for each iterate, uh, element uh, inside the array we were able to execute this method or function within the scope of my obj so it ext.each also provides you the ability to scope out your method calls so uh, I believe that in my opinion that using this is a lot nicer than um, you know a simple for loop which uh, can get pretty ugly in my opinion um, if you had your method defined let's say this was in some class so if we were to just create a quick class um, I could show you really simply how ext.each would look cleaner so my class equals function and here we have our little neat little constructor um, and then uh, my class dot prototype equals and then we'll create the object for that here and uh, let's just say uh, my array equals and oh, excuse me and we'll just say a b c and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, say uh, loop through. So we're just going to create a method called loop through function, and we're going to say um, ext.each this dot my array, and uh, we're, we'll make a quick uh, function that will a method that will spit out to the console, which I have to clear out right now. So bear with me. Let's go ahead and move this over because we need a little bit more room. And uh, oh, neat! The cursor came back. How cool! Okay, so I'm just going to say um, uh, console me and uh, function and there's going to be some some item being passed to this guy cool so ext.each this.myarray I'm going to say uh, this.me or this.consoleme and I'm going to say um, with the excuse me with the um, scope of this cool so now we're able to essentially do a, a for loop with scoping in one line instead of having to do this really weird you know instantiating of a a, uh, a variable and having to track it and all that jazz uh, to me this seems a lot cleaner so I'll just say um, console me uh, we're gonna say console.info and the item that was passed and uh, we're gonna say also um, uh, let's say we're going to say items length equals and then um, this dot my array dot length so this is where you get to see that the scoping comes into play because if we execute this dot console dot me within the scope of this then we should be able to access my array through the the scoping parameter, so we're going to go ahead and simply say var uh, my obj equals new my oops my class, and I'm going to say my class dot loop through. Oops, we had an error. How nice. Oops, my my mistake. Let's try this again my obj. Bingo. Pardon the error there. So, um, here we have each of the items that were spit out to the console right here. And here we show the um, ability to access my array up here using the this keyword because we actually allowed ext.each to execute uh, this, the method with the scope of this. 